What up, Kali followers? Today, we're going to be making something that I have been waiting to cook for years now. Ever since I had the Chubby Cucumber Show called Snap Snack, maybe about four or five years ago, I found this and I just, I figured I have to be making this. And it actually goes by a few different names. I call it raindrop cake, but there's also things like uh, Japanese water cake is one of them. And it's a real quick video uh, on how to make it. It's super easy to make. It's almost like a jello. And it's gonna taste a little bit sweet if you want it a little bit sweeter. There are a few different ways, but we're gonna jump right into it. So if you don't have this, then, well, your SOL. You can get it off of Amazon. Link is, you know, somewhere down below. Uh, and it is agar. Now, agar is completely vegan, of course, because this is a vegan cooking show. Uh, just real quick, we're gonna need some roast, roasted uh, soybean flour, also called uh, kinoku. I think I'm saying that correctly, kinoku. Uh, roasted soybean flour, which I bought both of them off of Amazon. Links are down below. That being said, the only other things that you need is water and sugar. If you don't have those, then I have lost all hope for you. There's a lot of recipes that called for everything in grams, but we don't do that here because uh, uh, I'm just not used to that. So we're going to start off with... Uh, three tablespoons of agar, two tablespoons of sugar. Next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a, a cup of water and pouring some in and then mixing it like so. Pour your agar and sugar mixture into a medium sized pot. Pour the rest of your water in and then so right now this is one cup of water and we're gonna be adding another cup of water. And we're gonna be bringing this to a boil. It actually took me a long time to figure out how to convert grams into tablespoons uh, and teaspoons. So if you could hit that like button cause it will only help me out. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you become a, uh, a Kali follower by hitting that subscription button or follow me on Facebook or Instagram or even TikTok. I post on everything. As you can tell, it's kind of dark because I do have the darker agar. Now, I think my agar is actually more of a cloudy colored, but that's because, uh, you know, uh, I think it's because I got a different kind of agar. It's pretty much all the same except for the coloring, but we're gonna be, now that it's been chilling, we're gonna let pour in a little bit. You can also add fruit to them too. So I saw that you can dip it in upside down. Oop. Man, now I gotta clean up the side. So here we are the next day. And I just wanna say, I have never failed so hard at a recipe. That uh, cake that I put a strawberry in, yeah, this is it. The whole thing is like, hockey puck it's like a super ball the only thing that's juicy about this is probably the inside and we're gonna break it open Ew. Ew. okay so I mean I'm just gonna retry so I'm gonna at least throw this against the wall oh so there's that so here we are the next day after you know, I've actually tried a new recipe and, well, I found one and it worked really well. Uh, I did a trial run and I realized that you need very, very, very little agar. It's, uh, it also depends on what type of agar you use. I actually have normal agar, but it's recommended that you use a thing called cool agar. So I don't have that. Whoa. That was Amazon dropping off a package. I don't have cool agar, so we're gonna be using regular agar. It's gonna be, it's gonna come out a little, uh, a little smoky. It's gonna look a little cloudy, but that's okay. Uh, this is just 
for fun. It's not like I'm a professional chef or anything. It's not like I have a cooking show or anything. It's such a delicate process. So just check eye level for exactly a cup and a half of water is the measurements that I'm going to be using. Next, take the agar and put in one fourth teaspoon. Exactly. You don't want to use too much. Level it out, drop it in, and then we're going to use an eighth of a teaspoon. Measurement sizes are also, as always, in the description. Okay, so one fourth plus one eighth of agar. We're gonna be mixing the water and agar. As you can tell, it's also already smoky. But that's okay. This is about as cloudy as it's gonna get. Now we wanna take our cloudy agar water and bring it to a boil, and as soon as it does get to that boil, we're gonna cut it down and we're gonna simmer it. I watched a lot of videos and I read a lot of blogs, and the measurements, they just have to be perfect. So you don't want it boiling too long. As soon as it hits the boil, then you wanna cut it down to low and just let it, just let it uh, cook up just for a little bit while longer, and then you wanna pour it into the molds. See, now that it just got done boiling, I cut it down to low heat, and we're gonna let it cook there for about two minutes. So these silicone trays, uh, I actually got them off of Amazon. If I can provide a link, it'll be down in the description, uh, and it, so you can get your own. A lot of people, they use a lot of different things, or you can use an ice cube, uh, ice cube tray, it doesn't even really matter. Wow, this is really dirty. Uh, it's going to be hard to lift up and keeping this level <laughs> like I did uh, the other night when I, my first attempt. So I put a uh, spinach cover that you get from the store. <laughs> That's just to keep it, uh, to keep it flat when I put it in the fridge. I'm going to let this chill, see how it's steaming right now. Uh, we're going to let this chill just for a little bit, put it in the mold and then put it in the fridge. One thing you can also add is fruit, like how I threw that uh, against the wall. So after adding some, uh, some of this agar boiled water to the silicone trays, I'm also going to, see how watery it comes out? Don't worry, it'll really make it a lot cooler in the fridge. Just seems like water, you know? I'm gonna take a strawberry and reattempt to make it okay perfect so it'll look like a strawberry I'm, I'm just using a skewer right now but it's gonna look like a strawberry is caught inside of the raindrop you can also put other fruits such as blueberries or you know I don't know put a cucumber in there if you want well that's it it's in the fridge for about two hours, then I'm gonna eat it and enjoy it. So make sure you tune in Monday for Mukbang Monday where you get to see the taste test of this. And if you're not already, hit that like button and be a Kali follower. I put out new cooking videos every Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and that's, that's it. <laughs>